we have these equations for you. You don't have to memorize them. The area for a rectangular shape, A for area, you see it? Is the length times the width, A times B. So when you have a rectangular shape, length, width, the area of that, length times width. If you have a square, a square, all the sides are equal. We'll call them S and S. If we use the same thing, area is length times width, S times S, which will make it S squared. You take one side and you square it. If you have a parallelogram, and this is A, this is B, but if you go extend this line, you draw a 90 degree line, it's called the height. That's B here. The area of that, B times the height. If you have a trapezoid, Draw a line that's perpendicular, that's your height. The area of that, according to that cheat sheet, is the height times A plus B divided by two. All of these are given to you, right here, right here, right here. If you have a circle, the area of a circle, if you have a circle, and this is r, the area of a circle is pi r squared. Again, that's right here. r squared means r times r. Some people write that pi times r times r. That's what r squared means. Okay, let's take some shapes, go through them, and, uh, triangle, we're gonna put the triangle. If I have a triangle, this is the base, this is the height, the area of that, that's not on the cheat sheet, so add that to your cheat sheet, it's missing. It's base times height over two or one half base times height. Some people write that one half base times height. It's the same thing. Again, the area that's, see the perimeter is like if you have a kid's room and you wanna put a border in the room on the outside. That's what the perimeter is. The area, you have a bedroom and you want to carpet that. Or you have a kitchen, you want to buy a hardwood floor for it. Or you have a yard that's messed, you want to buy some sod to cover the area. That's what the area is. It doesn't go on the outside, it fills the whole thing. So let's take some examples, see if we can calculate that. So we have a triangle that looks like this. The base here is nine and the height is six. What is the area of that? Well, the equation for that, it's base times height divided by two. My base is nine, my height is six divided by two. What is nine times six? 54 divided by two, 27. And if these were inches, the area will be 27. The units always inches squared. 
squared for area. That's why when you go to Home Depot and you walk in, you, let's say you're looking for a carpet, it will say the price, 250 per SQ yard, square yard, or square foot. If we have a parallelogram, and this is 10 and that height is eight, What's the area of the parallelogram? Base times height. What's the base? 10, what's the height? Eight, and what's the answer? 80, again, let's say this is yard. That'll be 80 yards squared. If I have a trapezoid of 6, 10, and the height is 4, the area of the trapezoid, the equation says h times a plus b divided by 2. h is the height, 4 times 6 plus 10 divided by 2. This side plus this side divided by 2. What is 6 plus 10? 16 divided by 2? 8, right? So what's 4 times 8? 32 of this is centimeters. This, the units will be centimeters squared. Good, everyone? Okay. If we have a circle with the radius being three, what's the area of a circle? According to the cheat sheet, it's what? Pi r squared. So pi times three squared. Remember the order of operation, you're gonna do the three squared. What is three squared? That's three times three, which is what? 9. So pi times 9, and let me go to my calculator there. Pi times 9, that's 28.3 inches squared. Where this becomes challenging when you start putting different shapes together. An example. Let me go on the next page. Well, I'll, I'll leave it on this page. Let me start with this. Let's say this is 10 inches. This is four, three, one and three and what's the area of this shape that little c there if you were to measure this area if you were to carpet that let's say that's an aisle you have or a room you have in your house and you want to carpet that huh yeah so you can oh i forgot to give you this side right so let's say this is five and this is five, the bottom and the top. Well, you can do color things. There's three here. You can break it down to pieces. Notice if you look at that piece, if you cut that piece, 
You say, how much carpet do I need to cover this area? See that piece? What shape do we have there? Isn't that a rectangular shape? So what's the area of the top? That's what we call that the top. This is the top piece. It's a rectangular shape. It's this times that. Length times width. What's the length here? 5 times 4, which is what? 20. Let's say these were in feet. Square feet. We can also find the area for the bottom. The bottom is this piece. That's the bottom. Let's see, B-O-T. What's the area of the bottom? Length times width, right? What's the length? Five. What's the width? One. That's five square feet. And now I gotta find the area of this piece. I'll make that red. You see the red? What's the area of the red piece? What kind of a shape we have there? Still rectangle. Length times width. What's the length now? Try again. 10 was from here to there. Somebody said 5. Why is it 5? Well, the picture looks like half, but we can't go by that. You get 10 from here to there. Well, what's the, this distance? Isn't that 4? So what's that piece up here? That's 4. And what's this one here? 1. So you take a 10, take away 1, take away 4 from it. What's left? Happens to be 5. This whole thing is 10. Put the phone away. Come on. This is 10. This is 4. And this is 1. We're going to take the 4 and the 1 from it. So what do we have? What's 10? Take away the 4. Take away the 1. 5. Because if this is 1, this is 1. If this is 4, this is 4. So if this is 5, what's the width here? Again, we're going to think about the width. 2. Why 2? Very good. The whole thing was five, right? Take away that piece, which is what? Three. That leaves this one to be two, because two and three will make it five. So the area of the red is going to be five times two, which is what? Ten square feet. So now you add the three pieces, and what do you have? Thirty-five square feet. So if you go to Home Depot and say, I need to buy a carpet for this, they're going to say, what do you got? I got 35 square feet. Let's try other shapes. Let's take your house. Let's say you live on a piece of land that's 100 feet here by 100 feet long. And when you built your house, you put a house here, that's your house, which is, uh, let's say, 40 feet by 30 feet. Then you also have a driveway here. So this is where the house is. And this driveway here is, that's the, the 30 is the width of the house, the 40 is the length of the house. So the driveway, let's say it's 20 feet by 10 feet. 
Everyone can see the picture? Understand it? We have a piece of land. You bought the land. There's nothing on it. You decide to build a home. You build a 40 by 30 home ranch there. Now you also have a driveway here, which is 20 by 10. Now you call the landscaper because you want to do your yard. Your yard is going to be right here. That's your yard, the red. And they're going to come and measure that. And how big that red area? Well, let's see. Before we build the house, the land itself, what was the area of the land before the house? 100 by 100, a square, right? And you have 10,000 square feet. Let's look at the house. What kind of a shape we have for the house? Rectangle, right? 40 times 30, which is what? 1,200 square feet. And what have the driveway? That's again rectangular shape, that's 20 times 10, which is what? 200 square feet. So let's start with your land. You have 10,000 square feet. You put a house on it, you subtract from it what? 1,200, because you're not putting grass where the house is. So right now you're down to what? 9,800, oh, 8, right? So once you build the house, you're down to 8,800. Now you come in, you subtract another 200 because of the driveway. So what do you have left? 8,600 square feet. That's the, your yard, area of the yard. Now if we decide to put a pool above ground round pool, we're going to subtract the area of the pool. But that's how we deal with these problems. What did we start with? We started with the piece of land. That's how big the land. Take away from it the house. The house is this big. Subtract that. Now take away from it the driveway because you're not going to put grass on the driveway. And if you have a shed here, you subtract the shed. If you have a pool, you find the area of the pool. What kind of a shape? Circle, it's pi r squared. Rectangular, length times width. Let me try a couple more shapes. Mix and match things. What about if I have, I set up this island and I'm gonna put rocks here, just on the outside. It's like a ring here. The rock is gonna go right there. What is the area there? Let me give you some dimension. We'll say the radius, the radius to the outside is four feet if you can see it, and the inside radius is two feet. Outside is four, inside is two. If you look at that, what do you notice? It's actually, th that ring is the result of having this big area minus the little area, isn't it? If you find the big area, which is that, uh, then you take from it the inside area, that's the little piece here. You have that ring. Like if you bought a piece of paper, a piece of paper four feet long, there's a circle, then you measure two feet, you made another circle, you walk down with the scissor and cut that piece out of it. Isn't that what you end up with? So let's find the area when it was four feet. 
What was the area of this? Well, the area of a circle is what? Pi r squared. Pi times 4 squared. What's 4 squared? 16. 16 times, so it'll be 16 pi. And let me go to my calculator. What's 16 pi? You know what? If they're looking for the exact answer, they probably leave it 16 pi. Minus, I'll leave it 16 pi. This is r is what? 2. What's the area of that? Pi r squared. r is 2. Square it. What's 2 squared? That's 4 pi. So what is 16 pi minus 4 pi? Isn't that 12 pi? So if they're looking for the exact answer, that's your answer. If they said round to three decimal places, two decimal places, then you use the calculator for that. It's 37.7, let's say, square inches. One to think about. Do one more. Thinking problem. If I give you this shape, square, 10 by 10, and I have a circle that goes inside that, that's a circle, doesn't look like a circle, but really supposed to be a circle. And what's that little area? Again, the way you're going to look at that, you start with a sheet of paper. That's 10 inches by 10 inches. Then you got to take your scissor, subtract from it the area of a circle. Cut the circle from it. So you take that sheet of paper and you start cutting that circle out and you end up with that little piece. Everyone see that? Well, what is the area of that shape here? Area, that's a square. 10 times 10, which is what? 100 inches squared. You're going to subtract from it the area of this circle. Well, so the area for rectangular shape is S times S, the side squared, for a square. The area of a circle is what? pi r squared. So it's pi. But here's my problem. I have no idea what r is. Or maybe do we know? Do I know what r is? Do I know what that distance is from end to end? What is that distance? Try again. From here to there. The paper is 10 inches by 10 inches. How can that distance be more than 10 inches? From the edge of the paper to the edge of the paper, what's that distance? 10 inches. The paper at the top is 10 inches, 10 inches all the way. Here, 10, 10, 10, 10. From the edge to the edge is 10. Your radius is half of that. So this is your radius. Half of the 10 inches, which is what? 5. What is 5 squared? That's 25 times pi. 25 pi. 
So if they're looking for the exact answer, 100 minus 25 pi. If they want a decimal place, again, you go to the calculator, you go, okay, what is 100 minus 25 pi? And that's 21.46 inches squared. The area is always in inches squared. So is the area of the paper minus the area of the circle. And if that paper is 10 inches wide, this is 10. That's your diameter. Your radius is half of that.